Hey, welcome back to Tech Leveler. I'm Lee, and today I have another Amazon Fire Stick tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your Fire Stick in under five minutes. So to jailbreak your Fire Stick, you need to install Downloader. And also I have some crucial steps that you need to take once you've jailbroken your Fire Stick. So let's get on with it. So let's install Downloader. If you're not currently on the home screen, press the home button on your Fire Stick remote and then navigate to the find option here. Then come down and select the finder option and then let's type in downloader. Once you type a few letters in, you should see it auto populate underneath here and you can come down and select downloader and this will take you to the apps. And here you can see downloader. So we want to press this. Then you'll take in to the downloader download page and you want to press this little button here to get it and then it'll queued and then download. If the first time you ever download an app, this will pop up. You can read it and then once you've read it, you can press got it. And by the time you've read it, downloader should have downloaded and you can launch it by pressing the three little lines on your remote. However, don't launch it just yet. Let's press the home button to go back to the home page as there's a few little settings we need to change. So let's press that home button on our remote. Now we're on the home screen. Let's go all the way to the right to the settings. Now within the settings, come down to my fire TV and let's go into that. Once we're in my fire TV, if you don't see developer options, you want to press about. And then here will be the name of your fire stick. Mine's just a fire TV stick light. What you want to do is press the select button. This is the middle button on your remote. You need to press it about seven times. And you'll see this message here. No need, you're already a developer. Then when you come back, now as you can see, you can see developer options. And we want to go into this. So let's select developer options. Now, depending on which model of Fire Stick you have, this may look slightly different. However, it's all pretty much the same. ADB debugging. Is currently off you want to go into this and turn it on and then you want to come into install unknown apps now all the models will just have a blanket turning this on and you just want to turn it on now more modern fire sticks have it where you can turn individual apps on or off so you want to come into this and then you want to select downloader and you want to make sure this is on now we've done that what you want to press is the home button on your remote control of your fire stick to take us back to the home screen. Then we can come down to the recently used apps and we can select Downloader. And then you want to select Allow with this pop-up, then OK. Then that will be Downloader successfully downloaded to your Fire Stick. Now, many people just leave it at that. However, I recommend you pressing the Home button on your Amazon Fire Stick remote, then coming all the way to the right to the Settings, Then coming down to Preferences. Then coming down to Privacy Settings. Now here you want to turn off Device Usage Data. So you want to select the Select button on that. It'll tell you a little bit about what this does. I recommend turning this off. And then you want to come down and select collect app user data. You want to turn that off as well. Again, you can read what that does. However, I always recommend turning it off. Then you want to come back out of privacy settings and go into data usage monitor. And you want to turn this off. This monitors the data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV stick light or whichever Fire Stick TV you have. You want to make sure this is off. As I don't feel comfortable with Amazon monitoring my data and what I'm using my Fire Stick for. But don't forget, if you want to be completely safe, you want a VPN. And I always recommend Nord. Nord isn't very expensive, and for what it does, it's well worth the cost. It's a few pennies every week. So, it's well worth to keep your privacy and your online data secure, get a VPN. Again, if you want to try Nord, there's a link in the description where you'll get a free trial and some extra months if you buy through my link. So thanks if you use that. However, 
but now that should be a five stick fully jailbroken and it shouldn't have took you more than five minutes so i hope you found that video helpful if you did smash the like smash the subscribe for many more five stick tutorials like this one and most of all thanks ever so much for watching